hello and welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is Wednesday the 28th of June 2023 and we all know what Wednesdays are. <laughs> okay then, right, we have a few this week which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, not a lot has really happened since Monday. No, not a lot to talk about really. I've just been working away on the old blanket. <laughs> But there you go. So I think we should just hop right into what have you been up to Wednesday? Okay then. Do you know, every time I do that, I can hear the ding, 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 ding that I add in in a minute. <laughs> oh well. Okay then. <laughs> First of all, let's move over here. We have the lovely Melanie. So hi, Melanie. Okay then. So last week, Melanie actually <laughs> sent in some photographs and a rightly written description of something else which she forgot to send the photographs in of. <laughs> so this week she's remembered to send me the photographs <laughs> oh dear me but Melanie has actually been doing a practice sewing on some bunting absolutely brilliant I think they are absolutely amazing so these are a practice uh pieces and she's going to do another set for her friend who um, has got a camper van and they're going to be hung in her friend's camper van they are going to look amazing Melanie absolutely brilliant I tell you the um, fabric is so pretty and camper vans are really coming back in there again oh I think that's brilliant <laughs> the actual pattern well tutorial that Melanie used is a free and we all know how much we love that word um, is a free pattern via a YouTube tutorial um, and it's called Safe Save Time with this Bunton Hack by The Sewing Studio. So honestly, Melanie, I think they're absolutely brilliant. You, know, you didn't need to practice at all. You really didn't. So well done. Absolutely amazing. I love them. Okay, then. Second up, we have another Melanie. <laughs> two Melanies. One in a row, one, two in a row, eh? Now, we've all seen this lovely young lady before. So, this is Melanie's daughter, Julia. Hi, sweetie. Mwah. <laughs> and hi, Melanie. And uh, Julie has been doing, Julie has been doing some lovely embroidery. She was inspired by a cardigan that her mum had knitted her with little stick men on. So, what Julia did is she got some Ada. I'm popping up a picture here. And then she... Uh, embroidered on some flowers and some stick men and then sewed the um the ada all on her own and made a dress for her doll honestly julia it is absolutely beautiful then after she'd finished that she went to her mum and asked if she could have a look through this fabric scrap box and um she also made another uh, outfit for another one of her dolls. Absolutely beautiful. You are one clever little girl, I tell you. Then she turned round to her mum and said, can you, uh, she picked out some fabrics and said, can you pick out some of your favourites from this selection? And she made her mum this lovely little bag. Isn't it beautiful? Which Melanie hang very proudly, which I can understand, in the living room so they can look, so she can look at it all the time. Absolutely brilliant, Julia. You are clever. I have said it right the way from the beginning. You are one clever little girl. So well done. Absolutely amazing. Okay, right. Next up, we have from Wales. Uh, oh, please forgive me if I get your name wrong. It's so. Oh dear. Sorry, so Sorry if I get your name wrong. Please, please, please forgive me. I think it's Soraya. 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 Soraya, I think. Soraya. I think that sounds, that sounds better. Now, she has actually done the Dunes um, Feather Vein Socks by Curious Handmade. I love Helen's patterns. Helen Stewart. Uh, she said they're a very, very relaxing knit. They are absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. And um, 
as you said as well, you know, Helen's patterns are just are, are just amazing, aren't they? Row by row, you get percentages. They're very well written. They are just, well, you can't fault Helen's patterns, basically. Also, you have been a busy bee as well this month. This is June's uh, Gnome by Imagine Landscapes. Oh, my gosh. I tell you what, on um, Instagram, I have seen some of these being made and I didn't do it this time. I did the Jubilee one, didn't I, last year, I think it was. And I've done another one, I think, as well. But they are just so much fun to knit. And he is gorgeous. I tell you, absolutely a cutie. So well done. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, sorry about your name. Okay, then next we have the lovely Sarah. <laughs> Oh, Sarah, you make me laugh. If you remember, last week and the week before, Sarah had, she did a um, a Harry Styles cardigan for her friend. Then she did an, um, a one for her teddy bear, didn't she? Now, this week for her friend, she has made this key ring or bag um, charm. Honestly, you are so clever. You really, really are. Uh, the, these Harry Stoll cardigans are really, really coming out. <laughs> I think it's amazing. I really do. Also, a friend has asked her to actually knit a Harry Styles dog jumper for her dog. So please, if you manage to design that, please, please send in a photograph. I know I would love to see it and I bet everybody else would. You are just amazing. So Sarah, well done. So last up this week, we have some sewing. And if you remember last week, my lovely, lovely special friend, Pat, hi, sweetie, said her daughter had got the bug for sewing and she'd made those uh, little dungarees, hadn't she? Well, I tell you what, her daughter, Karen, so hi, Karen, has definitely, definitely got the bug now for the old sewing, which is amazing. Because as I said last week, you have got the most perfect teacher there with you. Um, so they made together this cushion. And uh, as you can see, Karen is well chuffed with it. I can see why. You did an amazing job. And then Pat sent her home with the pieces of fabric cut out and written instructions what to do. And look at this. So Karen did this one on her own at home. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And um, let's have a look. Next week, they're going to be doing something else. So look forward to seeing that one too. <laughs> So that is it for this week. So well done, everybody. Well done. Honestly, absolutely brilliant. Oh, my gosh. You are such, such a clever bunch. You really, really are. As you know, to send in anything for what have you been up to Wednesday, this is the email address. Um, little Workroom Crafts number 1616 at gmail.com. So please, please send some of your work in. Send in what you've been doing. We all like to know what we've been up to. <laughs> right then. So I'm going to sit and edit this. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. And then I am going to get back to my Union Jack blanket. It's coming along. It really, really is. Just on a quick note to let you know, because I know not everybody follow Instagram and that, I had a little shop update yesterday of uh, project bags. Uh, there is one left, so thank you to everybody that has actually purchased. They've already been sent off this morning. Um, so there is one left uh, in the shop, which is under the sea related. So uh, thank you ever so much for that. And thank you to everybody that supports us on Super Thanks and Kofi. Right, there's that done another way. <laughs> okay, then, right. I am going to love you and leave you all. As I say, cup of tea time, because obviously we need a cup of tea. And crochet. <laughs> and then I will be back on Monday as always. I could be back beforehand if I can get this done. I am all prepared and set up upstairs, ready for the tutorial for the stitchery and the hexagons. And I was naughty yesterday. I popped to the local shop, the haberdashery shop in town, and I think I got some fabric. Ooh, but you couldn't resist it. <laughs> For the hexagons. So, yeah, anyway, it's going to be in the tutorial on the stitchery and that. So, all right, then, I am going to disappear. So, please 
Take care, stay safe, and as always, my lovelies, happy crafting. Bye!